So I was in the store this week, and I discovered uh, this magazine, which I thought was pretty interesting that you would find this just in a uh, regular Giant Eagle uh, magazine rack. You know what I'm saying? And at the bottom it says, who do you say that I am? And I, I was kind of checking through the magazine and just looking at it, um, and there's so many opinions as to who this man was. At this point, it's irrefutable that this man lived among us, lived on the real earth at a real time in real history. Uh, but there's so many opinions as to who this man really was. And some people say he's the son of God. Some people say, you know, he was a great teacher, and that was it. Some people say he was just a good man, taught some good things, that was about it. Um, but in the end, those aren't um, verifiable options, because this man said things and did things that were absolutely radical and out of this world. This man came here and said, hey, here's the deal. I am the only way, the only truth, and the only life that this world will ever see. No man will ever get to God except through me. <laughs> he said things all day, every day that were so radical that we have to make a decision with our lives that either he was a liar, a flat-out liar, or he was a lunatic out of his mind. I'm the son of God. There's people saying that now on the street. Lunatic or he was the Lord of all creation. And based upon that decision in our life, we'll decide, first of all, how our life goes in this little 70-year fleshly thing we're living, but more importantly, for eternal life. It will decide where we spend that. <clears throat> and so I wanna bring things down to earth just a little bit uh, and walk through what I feel are some of the key bottom lines of Jesus' life and his ministry on earth. 